to this collective sigh of relief in the markets, but I wonder for how long. Yeah, and that's what a lot of the market is watching, the rate of flows, the future of the flows. The fear was that Russia might completely cut off all gas shipments, and so that is where the relief is coming from. Let's drop into the Bloomberg, and you can see a representation of how the flows have resumed, although they're at 40 percent of the capacity of the Nord Stream pipeline. After a pause, Russia has begun Gun sending natural gas through the pipeline once again to Europe. Um, it was at the level before the flows were halted for 10 days of planned maintenance. Now, the restart eases fears, but what about the future? That's still a huge question mark hanging over Europe. EU is racing to stockpile natural gas ahead of the winter amid its worst energy crisis in decades. That has caused the price of nat gas to shoot up. It has uh, dropped just a bit as the uh, natural gas flow has resumed, but bigger picture, you can see that natural gas prices are just exorbitant. Uh, the situation has already undermined the euro, and it has tumbled to near parity with the U.S. dollar, this concern that the natural gas crisis could uh, get a lot worse than it is now. Sue, we're seeing a bit of a slump when it comes to oil prices. Are there real worries about the demand side of the equation? Yeah, and there's a couple of things uh, that have to do with that. We are seeing, if we look at how prices are uh, trading right now, a bit of a steadying in Asia trading, especially for West Texas Intermediate, which had briefly fallen below $95 in the most recent U.S. trading session in Europe. There you see, I mean, uh, in New York, you do see a bit of green on the screen right there. Uh, rising cases of COVID in China and stalling rates of U.S. gas consumption have ignited demand concerns. Uh, let's just drop into the Bloomberg once again, and you can see uh, by the title of the chart, uh, no thanks, I'll walk, uh, what the sentiment is here in the U.S. I mean, prices at the retail level are out of sight. Everybody talks about it. And so the uh, charts are starting to show uh, demand stalling out, and that is igniting concerns about demand and recession and uh, really everything uh, starting to tighten up. Compounding bearish sentiment, you've got Libya restoring uh, production, so that just adds to the sentiment that short-term prices are going lower.